Magic Overtime with Dante and Galante is brought to you by Tobacco Free Florida. Kick it. What I want to say about Richie is that everybody knows what a great guy and what an effervescent uh, person he is and a great humor. But what he is is a, a guy who is a basketball junkie. And welcome back to Magic Overtime with Dante and Galante. And, and some kind words there from, from Brendan Malone. You, you really do love the game of basketball, Richie. Well, I, I could tell a story right now because Brendan Malone, Yubi Brown, and Dick Vitale and myself – we're running basketball camps in the summer in New Jersey. And after the camp was over, we went out to have a couple of beers, and we're drawing diagrams and talking basketball like we did. It was about 1230 in, in the morning. And uh, we got into a little heated argument on how to cover the double pick and roll or whatever it was. You have four guys that really are opinionated in what you should do. So we went outside in the street, and we got garbage cans. It was garbage night. And we moved the garbage <laughs> cans in the middle of the street. We had to look for green ones and white ones. So we would have two different teams. But they were metal garbage cans. And by the time we got everything set up, it was 1 o'clock in the morning. So who was banging over the pick with the, with the garbage can, hitting the other garbage can? It was... The next thing you know, cops came from three different cities because <laughs> the people in the neighborhood all called. That was, you know, called up and said, we don't know what's going on. There's noise the whole bit. Well, it just happened to be in Lodi, New Jersey, which is next to East Rutherford, where Dick Vitale coached that time East Rutherford High School. Right next to Fairlawn, where U.B. Brown coached Fairlawn High School. And right near me, where I coached in, in uh, Orange, New Jersey. So the cops came. Two of the cops Played for us. One played for me. One played for Yubi. They pulled up in the cop cars. They looked at us and they went, "Oh, forget about it. We're not going to arrest our coach." <laughs> did you have them? Did you have them come in and start running pick and rolls? Well, they, we we told the one you guy, some, "Do you, you had remember?" Some extra players. Yeah. I mean, we so now we had to, you know, we had to finish whatever we we're doing, and we usually then went to the diner, and then you had the sugar was the basket, <laughs> and the pepper and salts were the two teams. Why not? And then we continued till about three in the morning discussing nice. how to play that double pick and roll. Did you ever come up with an answer? Well, we all had our own answers because right. we all believed in what we wanted like to believe, what, what we thought was the mm. best. Go with the pepper every time, I right. would say. I would say pepper <laughs> as well. <laughs> well, you're a man of fashion, obviously, and we like the, we like the ensemble you got right there. I mean, I you are by far the best dressed guest we've had. No doubt so about far. it. Am I? Not, yeah. even, not even close. You can thank my wife, yeah. Carol. Yeah, I will thank have Carol. polka dots and stripes together. <laughs> not even but keep close. It, so keep it was... along that theme, Richie. We want you to see our Geico fan question of the week. Hey, Richie, I just bought my husband a fuchsia shirt. And I need to know what my options are for accessories. Maybe something with a blazer, an ascot, or a handkerchief. Can you tell me what would go with that? If you had a fuchsia shirt, what would you, what would you go with that? Like a pinkish kind of shirt. What accessories would you wear with that? Well, I mean, you always have to have French cuffs. Right. Of course. You have to have, the French, you have, to have cuffs. French cuffs. Gotcha. It's a given. And you always have to have a designer shirt. Right. Okay. And now, with pink... Um, you know, you can wear blue. You like to go yellow sometimes with pink, I, don't you, Richie? I like to go... A little Easter look? Yeah. Well, I, ha I do have an Easter <laughs> shirt, Easter yes. egg shirt. In fact, Dwight Howard, um, you know, it's it's a Robert Graham shirt. Right. Oh, nice. So you know it opens up. Mm -hmm. and, uh, but it's like yellow and pink. And, and every time I get on the, the uh, plane with that, Dwight Howard goes, you got your Easter egg <laughs> shirt on, you know? So... But as long as I'm not ostentatious. Right. That's you right. Know, Whatever I just, that means. Absolutely. <laughs> I'm going to have to look that I word mean, up. I, I, I love Greg Sager. Now, a lot of people yeah. don't like the way he dresses, but I think he dresses very nicely. But sometimes he misses. Yeah. You know? Sometimes he does The only miss. reason quite, I don't miss often, is because right. of Carol. I yeah. would miss, you know. All right. Would you rather, and then let's get Richie out of bottle. All right. Here comes, you your, the here comes your here curve comes ball. Curve all right. You've been waiting for the curve ball oh, the whole time. Goodness. It's time for well, would I you rather. I could hit the curve. I was a yeah. left-handed batter. Is a right-handed pitcher throwing yeah. it? This is a lefty. This is a lefty coming in oh, at you. No, got, that's going to be I tougher. I got a bunt. <laughs> okay. I got a bunt left. Here, here's your would you rather, Richie. Richie out of bottle. Would you rather cheer, do a little cheer every time somebody compliments you, like a little so, cheer to yourself. Yeah. So we say, hey, that's a nice color combination, and, and then you would cheer. <laughs> or yeah. jump up and touch the door frame every time you enter a room. Now that's so a lot of work. Yeah. So every time you go in a room to jump up and touch so the door So every time somebody frame. compliments you, you do like a little cheer to yourself out yeah. loud. Or uh, or jump up and touch the door frame. Well, I'd rather jump up and touch the door frame <laughs> because it would seem like I'm a basketball player. All right. When I'm doing that little cheer, I don't know what I look right. like. Right. Look like you're wearing a look like you're wearing an ascot. Yeah, yeah right. <laughs> right. Exactly. Okay. Neither do we. Look like I'm making an. <laughs> that's right. That's right. <laughs> well, yes, that's right. We got to cut that. Which well, is we easy might have to, to cut that. That's going to make it in. We're on at one o'clock okay. in the morning. Yeah, nobody's one o'clock. Oh yeah, my one o'clock. You know You're what fine. goes on at one o'clock? Yeah. You ever you ever go through? The, I know. You ever watch 
MTV, You're headed there right now, MTV2, VH1, yeah, BET. Yeah. You ever watch those? Yeah, I don't do. Don't worry about You know what it. happens don't at 1 a.m.? You know what happens at 1 a.m.? The essence of Richie yeah, absolutely. happens at 1 a.m. That's when that happens That's at 1 a.m. That's when I wake up. That's I know. Believe Richie me, I know. Did, I've uh, been dragged that down, down <laughs> that road quite a few times. My head's spinning, but thank you so much for coming here hey, in the it was studio, great. Richie. You this guys was a are blast. doing a terrific job. Thank you, you really very much. Are. I mean, if I get a chance, I'll stay up to 145. <laughs> but at 145, I'm usually watching a game, so yeah. i got to Yeah, you got to break down footage. Or you're at a tavern. Yeah. Well, thanks watching for Watching a game. Yeah. That's right. Watch, yeah. Always sports watching bar. a game. Always go to sports Right. Bar. That's right. I'm at every sports bar in America. You want to know where every sports bar is. You want to know every Italian restaurant for you two guys in America, Boston, Philly, Chicago, L.A., Dallas. We're I got take, my cards in, in. We'll tell you every We're going to take one. you up on that. Okay. All right. All right, we'll right go, fellas. Thank you, Richie, for coming by the studio. Remember, we're giving away a pair of tickets, Magic vs. Wizards, on January 6th. Go to magicovertime.com and send us an email. We'll pick a winner at random. Or you can text 57375. Keyword overtime. That's right. Mad Dog, what's coming up next? Well, when we come back, we'll take a look at the Magic's upcoming schedule. Plus, Dante and Kevin will take you on a very special tour that you won't want to miss. And overtime fans, are you looking for that perfect Magic item for yourself or someone else? Then look no further than OrlandoMagicShop.com, the official online store of the Orlando Magic. For tuning into tonight's show, we are offering you a special discount code to get 30% off any order at orlandomagicshop.com. Text the word SHOP right now to 57375 to receive a bounce back code to redeem your 30% discount online. Text now because this offer expires January 7th. Magic Text is brought to you by T-Mobile. Magic Overtime with Dante and Galante is brought to you by Tobacco Free Florida. 